for those who are ready to watch it, let's check it out. It's I loaded up last night just to check it out and change settings, and it's one of those games where you're like immediately in some world or something. So let's see what it is. It's a Daniel Mullins game. I guess he's the developer or something. Still can't believe it's cold in Texas. It's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Uh, okay. Is this, is this a TV or a... Are we supposedly loading up a TV or an old video game or something? Alright, what do we got? We have new game. I checked the options. Okay, I guess we're just doing a new game here. I can't click on new game. Continue. I have to continue a game that I have not played yet, I guess. That's weird. New game blacked out. Maybe that's normal? I don't know. Alright, an old floppy disk symbol. It's dark and spooky. <laughs> Some spooky eyes opening. Alright. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Alright. Play the squirrel card. Okay, there's... Squirrel, stoat, and wolf. Okay. Play the squirrel card. Doesn't matter where. Here. Now play your stoat. What is this? S. How do I play my stoat? Okay, I'm clicking on stoat. Uh, how do I play my stoat? Click. Uh. Uh, might be part of the plot. It looks like a game where nearly everything has its meaning. Maybe Blacked Out New Game does have a meaning. I'm sure it does. Buttons? What buttons? Is that an S? Oh, okay. I have to press S to go back to my hand, apparently. Click the stoat. Oh, my stoat eats the squirrel. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. So that cost blood means stoat eats the squirrel. Now I can play my stoat. Okay. Hit S goes back for some reason. Wolves require two sacrifices. You do not have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. Commence combat. Okay. My stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power one. Assume the three is its health. So we attacked something. My stoat dealt you one damage. I added it to the scale. Okay. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Okay. Sacrifice must be made was off the title of the demo of the game, you think? Okay. My stoat stands in the way of... Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Dealt two damage to my stoat. Means your stoat's health is two less. Increase your health dot. Reaches zero, it dies. Gotcha. My turn. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Well, a wolf takes two sacrifices, so... Let's draw a squirrel so I can play my wolf. How dull. Okay. Your, your mom's dull. Alright, play the squirrel. Uh, S. Okay. And two sacrifices. Sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. <laughs> the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. If suffering was real, but you will see it again. Okay. I'm going to place my wolf here, and he's going to do three damage to this guy, I think. What did the W do? I can look there. Okay. And I think that's all I can do. Three damage to you. Bam! Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Because you are learning, I, I will pass. <laughs> How nice of you. I took two damage. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um... Let's take a random card. River Snapper. I'm lo Can I look at my... Okay, S. There we go. So he's a very tanky unit. Oh, he's a damage heavy unit. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so W lets me look up. S lets me look down. Interesting. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to be ahead on the scales. Oh, I've won. Okay. So I had to do... What was the total damage I had to do to him? It's interesting how it's scaled. It's not like a finite number of health. You have to just do more damage than he does. Pretty interesting. It won't all be so easy. Okay. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Okay. I was lost deep in the forest. Single path revealed itself. Okay. It's me, that guy with the spear. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Ah, okay, okay. Poison. Gotcha. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I like both of these. Let's get the cat, though, so I have a way to play my cards. Since it seems like I have a bunch of things that need sacrifices... Sacrifices must be made. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. Come across an abandoned sack. Found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. <laughs> a squirrel in a bottle. And have a second. Okay. Are those like... I can get those when I need them, I guess. Not the useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Is that pliers? Three is as much as you can carry. So I can have three items, eh? Okay. Okay. Ambush while crossing rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? <laughs> play along for now. Okay. May now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, he's going to play a wolf cub. He's going to have to get through the boulder. So what we're going to do... Is I'm going to play a cat here. Oh, I have to sacrifice a squirrel to get a cat. Okay. So if I play the squirrel here, then I sacrifice a squirrel, put a cat here. Now I have unending sacrifices. Um, this takes two sacrifices, so we're gonna play the stoat sacrifice, but it doesn't kill him. There. Your items may help. I don't need the items. I, we're good right now. And I could sacrifice both of those to play the river snapper, but I'd rather have higher attack. I want a wolf for this one, so we're gonna call that good. Oh, he's got a bat there, eh? Mind the ambitious wolf club. It ages swiftly. So he lasts for one turn, is that what that means? Oh, right click. Fletchling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. Oh, he turns into a more powerful form. Oh, okay. That squirrel, I don't need a squirrel, I need a wolf. Okay. Wolf has two health. Bat is two one. What is what is flying? Strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it. Interesting. Okay. I need to sacrifice two things to play either of these. Hmm. Alright. So I'm going to sacrifice this guy. Ooh, okay. Let's play the defensive river snapper in front of the bat, I guess. Everyone basically cannot do damage to your stuff, but it will do damage to you. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I, I think I understand. Okay, so let's play the snapper here. There. There. Okay. That'll block that guy. I don't want to sacrifice him, so next turn we'll grab a squirrel and I'll be able to play the wolf there, I think. Okay. Yep. That flew right over my river snapper. So it looks like I always get to attack first, I think. If I play squirrel here, then sacrifice you two. Go there. I'll be able to get through this stump now. Okay. The wolf will get through the boulder. I did kill off that thing. Um... 
Squirrel in front of... You know what? Squirrel will, I think, at least block the wolf, I think. If I do that, I think it'll just block the wolf, hopefully. A minion blocker. Nice. Okay. Um, I think I will kill him if I just continue to block, block him with squirrels. Pop, pop. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Okay, so it looks like five damage ahead you need to do. I think that's what it was. Block the unblockable guy. Is that what I said? I meant block the... Well, the turtle killed the unblockable guy. But block the, uh, the wolf guy, the high damage guy. Found a young wolf club. Grows in wolf after a single turn. The Meek Sparrow. Inexpensive, feeble flying creature. Alright, so this guy's got the flying thing on him, right? So... Um... They both take one sacrifice. Unblockable damage. Or another wolf that'll turn into a 3-2. One takes a single sacrifice. Let's take the wolf, wolf cub. Alright. This has definitely got a Slay the Spire Monster Train vibe going on it. So I'm do some strange stones in the mist. You're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> really? Well, this cat is really good, so I, I'll get rid of the wolf cub. <laughs> oh. Oh, a host. A healthy host. So, am I upgrading a card, I wonder? Can I make the River Snapper have more attack? Can I tell what this does? Ghastly Spectacle, but the Soul of the Wolf Club now lies in the River Snapper. So he's going to turn into something bigger now. One turn later. Okay, that seems really good, because he's tanky, so he shouldn't die, and then he'll transform. All right, I want to see what that's going to do. That sounds awesome. Whoa! Behold my totem! It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Okay, so they're all gonna try to pass me by. Coyote is air. So they're all gonna try to go over us. Okay. Squirrel. There. There, there, okay. Uh, I can only play... W Actually, I can't play either of these, can I? Oh, yes, squirrel, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I had forgotten. So let's play the river snapper. This, this. Put it in front of that one guy. I want to see what he turns into in a turn. Yeah, he has the power of flight. So apparently he gets a one free attack to give it two eight. Okay. So um, do I die if this bat attacks? I think I think I might die if this bat attacks. I think if that just loses. So I think I have to get a squirrel. There. Sacrifice you two there to block him, even though it's going to kill my wolf, I think. Oh! That didn't do damage to my guy. Okay. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? <laughs> no care for the rules. Pathetic, really? <laughs> Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. <laughs> this poor stoat. Was he gonna play a wolf cub? Oh yeah, we'll kill him. I wonder why my. So if you attack, does your thing not take damage? I guess. Back on the board. That's right. You are back on the board. Will he turn the wolf? Do the wolf or a bigger turtle? Looks like it's a bigger turtle. He gained two health and one attack. I think. You never saw a river sigil, river snap with a sigil, so curious to see that action. 
It's a really big tanky boy. I'm gonna guess the wolf gets a crazy amount of damage if I had done that. Pop, 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 pop. Two damage away from winning. Okay. So I can't really do anything unless I sacrifice something, so... The stoat will really hate me, but we win anyway, so I'm not gonna sacrifice. You know what? Let's sacrifice the stoat. It's fun. Oh, come on! <laughs> he says. Alright. That should be GG. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, what's up, Cruel Angel? You place a creature on the spot of one that you sacrifice? Yes, it looks like you can. You may yet survive this ordeal, knock on wood. You think you can place the creature on the same spot where another was sacrificed as long as it's not the cat that doesn't die? Yeah, that sounds right. All right, looks like we're coming up on our first choice up here. Of path, anyway. The Reviled Skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Reduces the strength. Okay, I wonder by how much. Proud Wolf. The Monstrous Grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Wow, okay. One of these two, definitely. I'm leaning towards the Grizzly. Do I have enough sacrifices? Sacrifice a wolf for a Grizzly, yeah. This seems really cool, too. Let's go with the Grizzly, though. A big giant unit sounds pretty awesome. Campfire or a... something. Let's see what this something is. I'm gonna guess Campfire is... Recovery of some sort? Oh, it's another one of these guys. Okay. No, I don't want to sacrifice my cat. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. I have to sacrifice my cat? I wonder if this will make him never... I wonder if this makes whatever I play never die. What an honor. Okay. Does that symbol mean he never dies? I can sacrifice him and he never dies? I think we should have gotten the skunk. Uh, you, if you sacrifice the cat, you think the unit that gets it does not die during sacrifice. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should put it on the wolf then. Oh well. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in... This foul cabin! <laughs> Does that mean I'm supposed to click something here? Okay, I have a squirrel. Oh, what do we have here? We have two fir trees. Their defense against flying. Oh my god, he has a giant grizzly. Okay. Can I, and I can't sacrifice those fir trees, so that's stopping me from ever being able to play this grizzly, it looks like. Hmm. If I damage the grizzly, do, does he keep his damage, I wonder? There. Stoat. There. Oh, damn it, I can't. Wow, do I just die from the grizzly now, I wonder? Uh, no, we'll do one damage. Oh man, this sucks. God, he's just got a bunch of grizzlies. Oh my god. I can't even play anything. I guess I could sacrifice a squirrel to get a wolf. I'm never gonna be able to play this grizzly until the sparrow kills the tree. Squirrel to block it. Um, I'm gonna block it with a wolf, I think. This grizzly's gonna eat my stoat. I'll put him down to three health, I think. I, I might. I feel like I'm gonna lose this fight. Okay. Um. I got a squirrel. No, I won't be able to play anything. Oh my god. Uh, well, I'm dead. I can't draw blood. Okay, I'm just dead. Uh, 
Uh, if you sacrifice the cat, you think the unit that gets it does not die during sacrifice. So technically, I didn't lose the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, I've lost. Learning the opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. I could have used these things. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. I wonder if I was supposed to lose that. There's probably something I could have used with my special abilities. Candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay. Oh, wow. We're in his cabin by the woods. Can't go that way. Oh, weird. I'm moving around. The eyeballs. I click on you. There's a safe. Uh, okay. Wow, you get to walk around this place too, huh? 12, 3, 6. Is that the... No, no, I don't think that's the thing. Okay, whatever. I'll grab your candlestick. Fine. Bring it here. There's lightning outside, I guess. Oh, there. Okay. Now sit back down. <laughs> okay. Would you kindly? Uh, okay. I'm sitting here. What's up, G Jeff? How are you doing? Far too rig ridiculous for what I had available. There might have been a way to beat that. I don't know. Two bears, though. Goodness. Let me explain something to you. Candle went out. That was one of the two mistakes you could make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? <laughs> okay. All right. So... If I go here, that means we get material, so I should use up my materials if I can. I don't know what this campfire... Let's check out what the campfire is. I had two consumables I could have used. Okay, so that does damage back to who attacks it. River Snapper. Bullfrog. Um, um, I don't have any flyer defenders, so... How, how useful will porcupine be? If I could sacrifice a porcupine, porcupine into another river snapper or something. Or maybe I could sacrifice a bullfrog into a wolf or something that'll block those guys. Let's get the bullfrog. Get tutorialized. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing right now. All right, what's the campfire? Come across a small group of survivors. Face is shrunken from starvation. They huddle around a campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beckon. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire. Warm by the fire, that would enhance its power. Notice when survivors wiping drool from their mouth. <laughs> plus one. So I think there's plus one attack. Drool. Mar they're, they're drooling, huh? Um, and I'm a little worried about if I lose this thing. Let's go with a wolf, I guess. Okay, so I give it one extra attack. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Okay, I was afraid they were going to eat it. <laughs> well, I already lost one boss fight. Let's lose another. This does have the monster train new thing where you consume a card to put it into another card. That infusing process is really cool. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chilled mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw, t'was the prospector. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's key. Okay. Coyote pack mule, what is that? Sprinter, at the end of owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. 
At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the directions. So it's going to move over. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see here. So he's eventually going to move over to this side, right? One turn there, then there, then there. What can I play here? I can get... I can get the river snapper up. Where do I want the river snapper to be? There's no attack. I assume I have to kill the pack mule. Let's do this. Sacrifice you. Put the stoat there. Oh crap, I can only play one thing. Okay, uh, alright, I need another squirrel next turn. Will it skip a spot if there's something there? I don't know. I have no idea. Got a wolf cub there. Alright, we need a squirrel. Hmm. Oh, it changed. Now it's gonna move. Looks like it maybe got blocked. Yeah, trapped by the coyote. I guess we're damaging it, though. I don't think it can go off the board, though. Uh, one, two, do I want to block the cub or the coyote? Playing this. Let's do this, I guess. Okay, we did do damage to that. Okay. So now he'll be blocked. We're gonna do a crap load of damage to that guy. So we can get another squirrel, play our wolf here. Squirrel there. Wolf there. Okay. Oh, and it's our bigger wolf. Nice. So we don't take damage when we attack those guys. They apparently have to have that spike for them to take damage. Okay. I think we're about to kill the wolf, so, uh... Play a card. Alright, yeah, kill the pack mule here. Okay. Oh, there's a package! <laughs> okay. Oh, gave me a bunch of cards. Dag nabbit my mule! <laughs> Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Ah, oh, carries over the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Cool. Lucky for me. Alright. Alright, so the coyote. So this overkill is gonna do one damage to me then, it looks like. Uh, what do I have? I have a raven. Two, three flying. Oh, I got a cat. Okay. Well, there's nothing I want to sacrifice. I'll just grab a random. Unless we get a bear. We didn't get a bear, so. We probably just win here with how much damage we're doing. Pop, 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 pop. Hope we didn't think it would be that easy. Okay, so we gotta kill him twice. There's gold in them cards, okay. Oh, what? Gold nugget, I've struck gold. What the hell does that mean? Okay. That's my grizzly bear. Okay. Can I play anything? I'm out of space. Okay. So I have to wait for them to kill. I guess he's going to get something from this. What does this do? You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. I don't know what that means. Okay. Meals package is saving your life with how we just golded my four cards. Okay. Alright, so I can play stuff. Um, Bloodhound. I need him to kill these other gold slots. So I can't do anything. Okay, that's a 2-3. Play 
a squirrel. I can play a bullfrog. Bullfrog can kill the coyote. That's about all I can do, it looks like. Um, if I play the cat there, I think it'll block damage, but overkill. What does this thing do? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Opposing creatures place opposite. Oh, he's gonna move there and kill that nugget. Okay, okay. So I think that I think that works. So if I do one second, if I do squirrel, I need to draw a card first. Okay. Okay, well we got squirrel. Does that move him over? Okay, that didn't move him over. Yes. Do this. Play that there. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, card bearing this sigil will move to that. Oh, so if I play something here, he will move to block it. Okay. Um, what's a raven? Two, three. I'm gonna use a squirrel to block this guy for now, I think. Let's see what that does. Okay, the overkill damage didn't go onto me, okay. Blood out basically protects enemy from taking damage or throwing stuff in front of the enemy, yeah. Okay. Adder kills whatever he hits, so that's gonna kill that thing. So. I cannot get a grizzly up. I can kill this thing with a wolf. I have to kill the bullfrog, though. Am I okay with killing the bullfrog? I need spaces for a cat to be useful, so yeah, let's kill the bullfrog. Oh, uh, that's a 3-2. Do I have my bigger one? No, my bigger one's already dead. So this is... This one does do enough to kill him. Okay. Wolf... There, there. Sorry, Bullfrog. I'll kill him, off. kill him off. This guy should give me a space next turn. If I play a cat here, he's gonna move there, though? Okay, so I'm not gonna play that yet, because if he moves, I don't kill him. I think. Okay. How much health does that thing have? It's a... Oh, it has one health, right? Yeah. I don't think I want to do an undying cat yet. Bullfrog will kill that. Okay, so do that. Uh, actually, I could sacrifice my wolf for the grizzly. Let's hold off on that, though. We'll see what he's going to play next turn. All right, let's get our grizzly up to finish the job. So, cat there. Oh, no. Oh, I have to sacrifice to play. Okay, so, squirrel there. Cat for squirrel. There. And then a grizzly. Bam, bam, bam. Right there. Beautiful. Your cards shake when you're about to sacrifice. That's pretty funny. Hopefully that's the end. Because if he does that gold thing again, I'm screwed. Now we light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Okay. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. I will say the boss was definitely easier than the sub boss or whatever the hell that was. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. All right, a gek. Uninspiring get cracks, you can find a use for it. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have a heart to try? Child 13. What is that art? Can't tell what that art is. Okay, so it's like the cat. A strange larva. 
Largely unimpressive, unimpressive specimen. It's got three health, but it turns into something else. Um, what am I lacking right now? I have decent sacrifices with the stoat that's able to stay up. I, I kind of want to go for the strange larva, but this gek is intriguing. Maybe it'll be something. I feel like board space is what we're having an issue with. I wonder if there's any way to get more board space. I feel like having two infinitely sacrificable things sounds like a bad idea. Oh, it's zero cost. You're right. I did not notice that. It is zero cost. So infusing that into something maybe makes the cost go down. If I could put that into like the bear, or maybe the bear can make be two cost or something. Let's go for the gek. The better squirrel. Uh, Silent Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carry onwards. Okay. Hmm. So we get more supplies over here. We have a sacrifice thing over here. Fusion only applies this symbol at the bottom center. Oh, okay, so I can't infuse that. All right. Maybe we put a... Maybe if we put a morph thing, it'll transform into something useful. I don't know. Yeah, I had one death. Or I've lost one life in this first run. Smell of rotten mold permute, permute the humid air. Every step forward is answered by is answered by some nearby slip or slither. Tread cautiously into the wetlands. This, I think, lets me choose a card. I don't know what the double blood thing does. I'm pretty sure this is a sacrifice... Things, another thing. Can I look at my deck? Is there a way to look at my deck? Oh, I can get up at any point. Okay. There's those guys. There's this thing. It's a knife. <laughs> Maybe eventually I could pick up a knife and kill him. Kill him with the knife. I could put out the fire. Oh, he followed me. Oh, we know that's where he was anyway. Okay. Hi, friend. Oh, okay. There's a globe. Okay. Oh, I can change the time. Interesting. That must be the way out somehow. We change it to be midnight o'clock. Whoa! I got a ring. I wonder what that ring does. Okay, I did not realize. Okay, I have a ring. I have no idea what that ring does. Oh, what is this thing? Okay. All right, well, that was fun. Why is that guy just hanging out in the shadows? He's the evil mastermind forcing me to play a game. I don't know what he looks like, but he's creepy looking. Has my picture been taken yet? I don't think so. Let's check out what the blood is. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. So I have one bear that costs three. I have a couple wolves that cost two. And I have and a turtle that cost two. So maybe a one cost could be useful. Either another big high cost or a small cost here. Pretty really sure the only one where it was supposed to be unwinnable, he lost one of two lives from what you saw. The winner of that part is completely unwinnable. There's probably a way to win it, I think. I'm gonna get the one cost. Wolf Cub, okay. What were you expecting? That's fine. Okay. And now I can trans I can put the growing wolf cub into something. Or I can put flying defense into something. Um I kinda want to grow my my gek. 
Man, growing the Grizzly sounds pretty insane too, though. I often don't get a chance to play him, but if I can grow a zero-cost unit, that sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna guess it becomes like a 2-2 two -two or something, I don't know. I'm so good that I can even win scripted losses. <laughs> I don't know about that. Probably meant to be generally unwinnable so that he can make you go bring the lives in. Okay. Right, what do we got here? We got a fur... We have some bees. Okay. Do I have anything playable? Yes. So I can play the stoat if I sacrifice a squirrel. Total misplay. Thanks, bro. Okay. Uh, if I get a squirrel, I can guarantee get the river snapper. Let's do that. There. This, this, and this. Okay. Kill those guys off. If the cards in your deck, press W while on the map screen. Okay. On the map screen, press W. Gotcha. So I could sacrifice... Ooh, Mantis, what does that do? Card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space from it. So will he attack the River Snapper as well, or will it be just those two? Each opposing space to the left and right. Right. Is that in addition to, or I won't. I'm not going to know because I'm going to kill the thing. Um. I would have to kill the river snapper, which I don't want to do yet. So let's draw. Okay. He, okay, he did attack the stoat. Okay. So did my stoat take damage? Yeah, it took one. Okay. So he'll kill him next turn. So I can, if I get a squirrel, I can play my wolf. Let's do that. There. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, let's do what I meant to do this time. Wolf, there. There. Okay, my bad. Okay. We're about to have our space opened up. Thank you, B. Alright, so... Let's Blair, Grizzly, and Sacrifice our Wolf, I guess. Although that doesn't seem like that would be that useful, but... Sure, let's get some crazy overkill. I think he'll kill the bee and then do three extra damage. Is that right? Oh, it didn't. Then why did I get overkill before? Okay, it's not overkill to him, it's overkill to what he's about to play. But if there's... So there, I think there has to be something in the way and something behind it to get overkill. But it's something about to be played, but there's nothing there. It'll just hit him. Okay. Hey, a free Gek. Do we get to see what it turns into? I think we kill him, so I doubt it. Have some extra damage. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The Trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh, so doing extra damage got me something. W. Aha! There I can look at my deck. More powerful form. It won't tell me what type of form, though. Yeah. I get free scrap. That's right. Tooth. Can I look at the tooth? Where's the tooth that I can see? I need a key for that thing, apparently. I put out a candle, which maybe was not a good thing to do. Okay. 
What a crazy game this is. Uh, ponder if Gek has some special interaction with growing into stronger form, like the wolf cub turning into a wolf. Yeah, I don't know. I I need to draw him earlier, basically. Stopped along the way by a trapper. Okay, well, I have teeth for the trapper, I guess. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? Okay, so these are teeth. Take a pelt free of charge. Rabbit pelt. What the hell is this? See the quality? I have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven things here. Golden pelt. So if I had done more extra damage, I could have gotten something else. What is that? Oh, I can't afford that. Okay, I, apparently I... Are these teeth worth... That's two. I didn't think I had enough. Okay, whatever. Golden pelt. What the hell is this? You're leaving already? Consider me pelts! Okay, I'll buy as many as I can. Okay. Thanks for your business. Okay. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you. Okay. So the extra damage that I did was absolutely worth because we now have more monies, I guess. So we can do another sacrifice, which we have the flying defense guy. The fire was, before it was guys that gave us extra attack. This is more items. I haven't used all my items yet. Let's see if I can make a thing do more attack, maybe. Okay, dying campfire. Room for a creature on the fire. Enhance its health. Okay. So this one will enhance health plus two. All right. Um... Who do I want to give health to? Do I want to make this 4-2 wolf a 4-4? Maybe the Gek? I'm wondering if ones that get bigger... If they keep their enhanced health. I think they do. Let's let's buff our free Gek. Make him a 1-3. I withdraw... Okay. Just had to make it all creepy, didn't you? Lucky draw. We have a rabbit pelt. So this is basically a dead card for us right now, I guess, right? What is this? Bullfrog, okay. Okay. A creepy hand, sir. I kind of don't want to play the rabbit pelt. I have a feeling if I lose it, that means I'll have less money at whatever the trader is that he was talking about. <laughs> Alpha, what is that? Features adjacent to a card brand this will gain one power. Okay. There's squirrel so we can play the wolf. We want to kill the buffer guy for sure. There. Yeah, the plus one's not really useful if it's... Oh, I just insta-killed him. Ha ha ha, get wrecked. My wolf was enough to just kill him. Get blasted. Well, I'm never going to get to see this one guy, the, the Gek in action, it seems like, grow. Kind of a small outpost in the woods, sent by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Sure thing. Start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I trade you any of these. Take your time. Okay. What is that? When empty space be struck, a card burn decision will move that space. So this is the guardian. Oh, wait. The space would be struck. A card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike. Okay. River Otter. 
Power Dragon, this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn, while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay. This is the one that weakens them, that grows, that's the spiky one. Black Goat. A card bearing the sigil is counted as three blood rather than one blood. Ooh, okay. Extra blood is very nice. What's the beaver? Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam defy is defined as zero power, two health. Okay, that does not seem good for our build when my spaces are very precious. I think I want the black goat so I can play bigger things. Let's get this guy. So I can get two things, eh? Um, Adder for big enemies seems decent. A guy moving to block could be good. A guy hiding so he never takes damage. Hmm. Lots of choices here. Let's get the adder, I guess. The black greatest of all time goat! That's right. Is that a golden pelt? Magnificent! Alright, another gek, a pack rat. What does a pack rat do? Trinket bearer. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Okay. And this guy, four cost a seven seven. Well, now that I got the goat, I could play this. I kind of like the idea for free items. I kind of like the idea of free items. Let's get free stuff, man. Most excellent pelts, my thanks. Rip Rotter basically attacks enemies and cannot die to enemies. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So I wonder... If I could put the black goat into something. That would be crazy if you could have a forever thing. I guess it could only have one symbol, so I couldn't make it so I have a forever black goat sacrifice. That would be too OP. So it, it looks like things with no symbol is the only thing you can add only thing you can add symbols to. Yeah, we could have put it into the gek, I guess. If I hadn't done that, which would be a free three, that would have been pretty insane too. Um, do I want to put anything into anything right now, though? I could put the defense into like the grizzly. You could put the poison into something. I don't know how useful that would be. Put the pack rat into one of these guys, maybe. Maybe I don't even want to do any more sacrifices because I feel like I don't have a great infusion yet. Honestly, River Snapper with poison would have been insane. Just be a big tanky boy that kills anything it touches. Now now I know how some of these combos would work. Um, let's see. That'll be a buff. I don't know what that symbol is. What was the blood one? I forget that what that was. Let's go this way. Yeah, River Snapper with Poison would have been awesome. But you can what? Alright, plus two health. Um, I could start buffing the Adder. With health, but I feel like I might want to get another Turtle and put the Adder in the Turtle. So who would I give more health to? Who do I not want to die? 5.1 multiverse should be out by next week. Okay, cool. Blood is pick the cost and get a random card of that card cost. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, who should have more health? Maybe my bigger wolf. What that? Make you a four four. Okay. They're drooling at my 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 animal. Don't eat my animal. I'm gonna choose a random one. At one cost. I wonder if you can get a random rare. Okay. So everything gets the flying ability, is that right? Or is that flying defense? Okay, so they all have flying defense. Alright. Coyote. Okay, what do we have? 
stoat black goat. We want to save that for drawing a um, if I can get my bear up earlier. These guys are the ones that go underwater so I can't attack them? I think that is right. So I can't attack them. Okay. I can play the wolf now. I don't think I want to do that. They can only have one added soul, not sigil, so you can add cat to goat and reverse. You can add cat. To go. So I could add the goat to the stoat. You don't trust Shadow Dog at all. You can't see his hands. He probably has a knife or a fork or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I won't be able to attack those. Um, so I can play the wolf now. Or I can draw a random and hope I get... Big boy. Am I going to die already? No. Um, I think the damage I'm going to do with that guy will keep me ahead. Let's get the guaranteed wolf up right now. I'm going to draw a random thing next turn. So this, this, this. Put you there. That'll kill that guy off. Okay, I'm take two here. Oof, we're one off, one off lethal there. Uh, I might be able to add, add a current stoat to goat. Do you believe there's a way to upgrade squirrels? Okay. Gek. Okay. All right. Well, I think we'll finally get to see what he turns into, though. Do that because I want to leave that space open for a bear. I can go ahead and play him, right? Oh, oh, I have to sacrifice one to get this. Oh yeah, let's do that then. Let's do the stove. There we go. Go in place for next turn. Okay, a bunch of guys <laughs> who are gonna bury themselves as I kill them. So he turned into a two-five. Okay, so we got one extra attack. It looks like bear. Grizzly bear, yes. All right, get blasted, sir. Pop, 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 All right. The gek got tanky, yeah. Tanky gek. Okay. So. Lotro says I might be able to add current stoat to goat. So what I'm wondering is if you can have the infinite many lives with the blood, because that seems super OP. But I don't somebody I don't know the difference between souls and whatever the other thing is. This is glowing. I don't know. Well uh I won't get a sacrifice thing on this path, sadly. Stoat my goats, right? Um, so... Another one cost thing. With the goat, maybe I want to get more high cost things. Glowing means it was added on, while not glowing means it was part of the card originally. Yeah, that sounds right. Nice. Beats Grizzly Bears Battlestar Galactica. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Dwight Schrute. Let's get three cost. The Regal Moose, the creatures of the wild, will make way for it. What is that? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Sigil creatures will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Pushed in the same direction. 
So it's going to move itself to the right every turn. Interesting. It's a weird mechanic, but okay. Move my other guys over. Okay. Should have used my items, I guess. Gust from this may lift your creatures in the air if only for a turn. Still don't know what the pliers do, but I already have one, so let's let's get that. So that's air defense, I guess. If we can overburn it enough with the full three items, it carried on. Yeah, it basically moves my cards, pushes them around. Took away a life. My boss battles are high stakes test of your aptitude. One flame, you'll either overcome them or die. If you're not, I will let you keep the smoke. <laughs> the hell? Okay. But you get two lives. Foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. Pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, go fish. Okay, what does smoke do? It's a zero one, huh? What do you got? Kingfisher, so that's gonna be constant flying damage that I can't block. Okay, so I can play my squirrel because I'm gonna get something from the pack rat. Oh, I have my free uh, gek too. This game has some surprising interactions. Nothing is truly wasted. Good thing about Kingfishers, you can just throw a unit there. It's safe, generally. Unless Mantis or something comes up. Okay. At least I have stuff to play. I don't want to sacrifice you. Let's play... Let's get, grab our squirrel. I'm gonna play two squirrels to play the pack rat. Yeah, get up an item slot and play this. That gave me. What did that give me? Scissors. You may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. How do I see his cards? I don't know. A zero one. This looks like this can block something. Is there any reason not to play the goat? I kind of want to keep it in my hand, I think. Scissors is basically insta-kill on anything on board. Okay. Which fish are to choose? Oh, what the hell? There's a hook on this. Is he going to take my card away? Okay. I think he's going to kill that. I think that's what that means. You recommend put a squirrel on board for take away? Well, I don't... I don't know. Maybe. Um, let's get our grizzly up. Oh, I have to sacrifice something for this. Well, if he's going to kill it anyway... Maybe I sacrifice that. Maybe I can sacrifice the smoke to play the goat. You think he yoinks it? Let's sacrifice it. So he doesn't get anything out of it. How about that? Pressure fish. Easy choose. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's always just going to take something. If I play the smoke, will he do that? Okay, there we go. So, he's going to take out whatever I play last. So I should have played the grizzly and then played the smoke. Okay, well now I know. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just gave him smoke. Um, I'm gonna be able to play the grizzly. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab a squirrel. Though I wish I had my infinite thing there, but that's fine. So this, this. I don't want to 
kill his smoke because it's blocking his thing, isn't it? I don't know what happens if he has a card that he wants to play, but smoke's in the way. Let's find out. Okay. What's that? One life. Whoa! Too fast, too soon. Oh my... What the hell? Eight grizzlies. That have mighty leap. That equals scripted loss. That's sure what it looks like. That's for sure. Okay. Too fast, too soon. What the hell. Uh, can I use? I've never done this thing before. Pulled my tooth to do one damage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is that what that does? Well, now I know. Great. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Alright, scripted loss there. Go fish. Oh no, you killed me by cheating. I feel so bad and salty about it. I had a win. Great, thanks for telling me. It's really helpful. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. Uh, don't tell anybody how you are a fucking cheater. I don't know if I could do that. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are cards from your mediocre deck. Put them to good use. Choose a card to draw the cost from. One cost. This time I'll use its power and health, the numbers. Okay. Four, four. One cost, four, four. Extract the sigils. Okay, so we either get items, flying defense, or it grows. Let's make it grow. Okay. Never did ask your name. Rand! There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? <laughs> you do not need to smile. Okay. Scripted loss, I guess. I think if you cut the grizzly in front of your grizzly, you would have forced a win. If I... If you cut the grizzly... Did you mean put? Now I have my picture taken. Here we go again. Another challenger. All right. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand the bones. I had scissors. Oh, cut. Use the scissors. Gotcha. Okay. Source full of possum costs two bones. So it looks like we're adding a new mechanic here. Gain a bone whenever your creature perishes, perishes for any reason. Okay. Cut the enemy of grizzly in front of your grizzly with your scissors. Okay. All right. Cool. I... I am bad at this game for not using a mechanic I've never used before. Good to know. Uh, are you free to play though? No. Okay, it's only bones. So I need to I need to play this, and then the only thing I can play is the stoat. What is he about to play? A rattler. That's one three. Okay. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Gotcha. You will not lose this until it's spent or the battle ends. Bad a game for losing to scripted loss, I know. 
Game wants you to do more meta progression before you advance past that boss. Basically, yeah, seems like it. Uh, what is your... You're a 1-1. One, one. Okay, so if I get a squirrel... Sacrifice the squirrel. I have to sacrifice my stoat. To even get the wolf online. What is this thing? This zero one squirrel. Oh, I still have. Do I still have my items from before? Okay. So if I sacrifice squirrel and stoat, I'll be able to play wolf and possum. Although I'll have one extra tooth, I think. Sorry, Stoat. While I was asleep again. Mm hmm. There. And the opossum we can now play because we have the bones. And they'll kill that guy. Okay. You don't think anyone is saying bad at game? Well, I don't know. When people tell me, you could have won, that to me is saying, why did you not win? You're bad at game. <laughs> That's... Uh... Okay. I think we just win here. Okay. Uh, I feel kind of strange to have it glitch and give you infinite hostile grizzlies as a way to lose. Some people went as far as trying to find out what happens when you win at that point. Oh, I'm sure I, I would have... If I had thought of that... I would have done it. I didn't think of think of it. I forgot my figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's beside the safe. Okay. It was winning with the items Ran had, but the game was designed to make you lose there. Yeah, so I could have... I just see a hand come out of there? That was weird. Uh, it's beside the safe. Figurine. Hey, there's some teeth there. Okay. What does it say? Oh, here we go. What the hell? Wolf and squirrel. Is that what I just played? I don't know. Is that my figurine? This thing's moving. There's something locked in there, isn't there? So I've already gotten this thing to open up once. Will you open up again? Who knows what time it needs to be? Who knows? I got a ring on my other guy. I don't know if that did anything. What's this book? Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sig sigil will block an opposing D. Okay. What's this? A oh, that's the book telling me how things work, I guess. Ran one of the true first time experience by accepting the script loss. Yeah, I totally did it on on purpose. Totally did it. I think I wouldn't win even with scissors. If he was low enough health, maybe I would have. I don't know. Scissors plus pliers was enough damage. You are the math champ. Four bones for a coyote. Six bones for a rattler. Four bones for a cockroach. What does that symbol mean? Unkillable. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand, and it's free. Well, it looks like we're going to need a lot of bones, so I kind of think we need a resource card. That looks like a re... Oh, it costs four bones to play, though. Well, it's still the cheapest thing that also could potentially give us resource, so I guess. Not sure how I'm going to get enough bones for this. Free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Yes, I have, I've already gotten up. It allows me time to plan for your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Too late, I already got your teeth. I guess that's telling me I could do this that I've already figured out that I can do, so... Put out the light for reasons, because I can. Okay. These cards devour your bones like Burst Laser 3, the power in your reactor. Okay. If you necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. OK. 
Okay. Uh, sure, I have... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. What do you got? Two coyotes. This costs four. I guess I can play a bullfrog. Could use a squirrel. Extra squirrel to get like a wolf if I want for now. It's flying defense. Okay. Wants you to die the first time so it can introduce the bones? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, why didn't my guy kill his coyote? Oh, because he wasn't in place yet, so I did damage and... Okay, I don't think I played that well correctly. How many teeth do I have? I have two teeth. I think I need to use a squirrel here. This will allow me to play two things here. So if I do this, that gives me the bones. I have four. I can play a cockroach. That never dies. Okay. Alright. Possum takes two bones. I can't get you to die. Okay. This is weird. If I can't... If I have nothing to play with my... Adding an extra resource cost is making this really funky. He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Okay. Cool. 273. I now know the code for that thing. Cool. Uh, so I can sacrifice you. Get a bone. Unfaltering has a cockroach. What was it? 273? Okay. So I have to play four bones to play you again. God, this is a weird mechanic. Okay. Do you believe the items exist because the game is pretty open about it cheating, so it lets you cheat. Okay. FTL question, if you want if you want blue crew blue options and have long range scanners, should you go to empty jumps? Uh if you want crew blue options. I would go to distress beacons if you want crew blue options, Mesa Base. It's often more distress beacons than there are at empty jumps, I think. Let's try. Two seven three. Two. Whoops, I was already on seven. Seven. Three. Stink bug. Hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is the stone around? His name starts with a P. The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Key. Key. Is there a stunted wolf in here? Oh my gosh, what is this? Zero of five. The hell? Two of two of five. Okay, so it's a puzzle of I have two right. Wait, a five. I have no idea what I did, but there we go. If we got like it, then you better put some bits in it. Very well, you manage your deck. I'll deal with it. you one. I know, I'll deal you one every so often. Stink. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks for the bits, Mesa Base. Okay. Two, one, two, three. It only goes down. OK. 
can't move that apparently. Okay, I can go down zero of five, one of five. So that's the only thing that's in the right position, I think. Nope, one of five. I don't even know what these numbers mean. There's only four slots. Okay, so maybe that means this, this entire setup is correct. Can't get that to say two of five with this thing. There's no other changes I can make here. Looks like a normal battle mat. Imagine even tile each tile like a card, you're trying to arrange them to do five damage. Oh, it's the damage I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So I can't move this one. Overkill doesn't do anything. So I do one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that will do... That'll do five damage. Or not. That's blocking it. That'll do five damage, right? That does two. What? Three, four, five. Is that not doing five damage? Wouldn't that be blocking that guy? That has flying defense. Do I want to do damage down or up? I don't know. I guess go by the scale. So I just did three damage there. Okay. Can't move you. Will this do four? That does four. Okay. So if I do this, that should be five, right? There it is. Okay. Worker ant. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Oh, more. Okay. So I gotta figure out how to do five damage with each one of these things. Well, I don't know what insect ability does though. So I probably have to play them before I try it. I know how these ones work though. I can read about the lizard sigil in the book. Okay, let's look at the book. Um how do I change this? I'll change the pages. Okay, there. So I just got a new... I just saw a new one. It looked like an insect. Ants. Value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh. The value represented with this sigil. So that I guess this can be health and or attack, maybe? Okay, I can't tell. It just says two. Isn't our deck getting a little large? I mean, I'm just unlocking things. That, that's that's kind of what I'm doing. Four damage. Okay. Caged wolf. Curious. Okay. You can take the number of ants and put it where the ant symbol is. I understand that, but looking at this thing, is that it's health or attack? I guess it's in the left, so that means it's an attack. So I had three attack here, I think is what that means. It's hard to see it when it's just these weird... 
symbols when I'm not actually getting to see the damage happening. Okay, five damage. I can move that out of the way. There. What does that do? Three damage. Only does three. Wouldn't that have done three on its own? Okay, that blocked one. I have no idea how I just did that. Okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, we'll understand its power. Okay. All right, well, I unlocked all those things. Not sure what that did, but cool. Oh, I didn't know I could go there. I already got your teeth. Okay. Uh, same as still going to brawl attack on left, health on right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, what do I have in my deck now? Did I just add a bunch of junk to my deck? Ant Queen. Ant Spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Okay. Caged Wolf. Now I have bones and ants and a stink bug, which they lose one power on the other side. Okay. Did I do the safe yet? That's what I just opened. That's what I was. That was what was in the safe. Those puzzles. <laughs> There's me. That's that's what I look like, huh? Well, conniving raven and blight upon the skies. Well, we have to get me. A one mana 4-4, four, four, or one cost 4-4 four, four seems pretty darn good. Let's go sacrifice something. We have a lot of cards. Yeah. Choice is yours. So what does this thing do? Lose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. The hell? Card bearing this sigil would be struck. A tail is created in its place. And a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay, so this one basically is immune to one attack, I guess. First death card you picked a higher cost, mistakenly think it would make the attack higher. Attack health higher, yeah. So we put that on the 4-4. Four it's it's basically a free attacker. What about this a cockroach? When it dies, it goes back to our hand. Uh, although it looks like... I don't know if I can add a symbol to this. So what symbol do I want? One that when it dies, it comes back to our hand. That seems pretty good. Or that it dodges an attack. Let's go with this. Oh, I can put it on this. Can this grow and then I get it back if it dies? Oh, wow, okay. That seems pretty OP. You again? Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. <laughs> what is happening? Alright. You cost two bones to play. Okay, so I can do that. I can do this, this, and what's coming up here? Two birds. Bad play, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. We have one bone. Undying Rand is possible. That's 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 what I am, really. I am undying. Um I get a squirrel. 
Sacrifice the scroll to play the wolf, and I can play Stinkbug and Wolf. Guess that's what I do. I gotta sadly sacrifice you and you. Sorry, bro. But I can play you there, which will kill him if I'm not mistaken. 2 1 coming up. What did he say? Back in the game. You're back in the game! Back in the game! Lowers his attack, okay. Stoat is like Twitch chat. <laughs> the really annoying guy who won't shut up, right? <laughs> I mean, it's totally not what Twitch chat is. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice any of these guys, so this is fine. Okay. I could play you. If I get a squirrel. Let's see if I get Rand. Ant Queen. She'll add stuff to my hand. I have to sacrifice both of you to play this. I think I'm just gonna win here anyway, so. I think I can play nothing. Yeah. What's up, Muno? All right, I uh, probably want to go sacrifice another thing, I think. Although getting a card that's bigger, even better, could be good. As a representative of the Twitch chat, you agree with me saying annoying? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't think you're annoying, chat. Except when you're annoying. An inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. What's that? What's that thing? And then the moose buck. Okay. Um. God, this is a very big deck right now. So, once a card bearing the sigil struck, a B is created in your hand. A B is defined as one power, one health, airborne. What do they cost to play, though? I don't know. Can I take nothing? I guess I'll have to do that to see how that mechanic works. Guess B is free? I guess. I don't know. I'd like to play this Caged Wolf and see what happens there. Maybe after it gets six damage, it'll be uncaged or something. God, I have a lot of junk in my deck here. Okay. What is this one again? When the card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. So I could put this on a cheaper one if I wanted to do that. Put that on a cheaper card. I have one other worker ant. Um, let's do this, I guess. Because if I can get free... High health... If I put that on a high health thing, I can get a bunch of freebies to sacrifice, maybe. Freebies. What if we put the queen on the ant? I don't know about that. I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Can I put it on the caged wolf? I have no idea what this is going to do. Caged wolf got a beehive in there with him. He's a really mad wolf. All right, I hope it's not another scripted loss. I can kill a card and I can do one free damage. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. All right, squirrel to play Rand. Seems like a good start. Two, one, one, two. I want to block the coyote. Yeah, let's go ahead and play. Play me. I am the best card in the deck. All right, I got a, I got a bones from that. 
Wolf will behave. Lol, I get it. All right. Cool. Um, I would love to draw that wolf, though. Damn it. He can... Okay, so he can block that. I have to sacrifice something to play anything, and I'd have to sacrifice Fran. Okay, I guess I should have got a squirrel. Okay, well, let's get a squirrel so I can actually frickin' play something here. Do this. Bullfrog can block the... T well, he'll actually kill the two on there. Do that. There. Now I have two things. You're a one, two. It's going to reduce his damage. There. So now he does zero damage. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. You get get wrecked, bro. <laughs> By the way, we play it around with drawing, copying, pasting, and the result is this. This is a... Uh... Oh, cool. Hi. Nice. Looks like a video game uh thing <laughs> this is pretty cool yeah you can share another something as a tiny tease for your ships of course one of the games you can see Ram possibly like it would be luck be a landlord it can be kind of a trip okay raven adder grizzly so i don't have a way to really play high cost things I feel like I need resources. Getting poisonous on something seems really good, though. So maybe I take this just for the sacrifice and the poisonous, maybe. I could put something poisonous on it right now, or I could put stats on something. Poisonous on... God, I'm not able to... I just have so much junk in my deck because of me opening all those doors, I guess. Poison is on what? I don't even know. Maybe I want to increase stats. I mean, this is it's, this is weird because it's a deck builder where they tell you about nothing until you see it. So now that I have stuff, I have to figure out how to make a cohesive deck with it. Buff our Ant Queen, I, don't, I guess. Be poisonous, I guess. Just die at the next script of death and start fresh. Yeah, so that's the plan, I guess. Is this the minor guy again? Yeah, only get one attempt at this. Smoke. Okay, so... This is not the minor. This is the guy that killed me, right? Grotesque figure. Oh, this is the prospector. Why did, but it gave me smoke. Okay. Caged Wolf, he hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Yeah, thanks for finally letting me play it. What do we got here? Um, so the Pack Mule, when you kill it, it opens and it gets a bunch of gold stuff on our thing. Do I want... I guess the question is, do I want the Caged Wolf to be attacked and opened or not or to turn into gold. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's just get Rand on the board and put him... When does he move? The end of the owner's turn. But there's something in the way he won't move. I think. I'm gonna kill that really fast. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. This game is really weird. It definitely is... Okay. Yeah, he won't move, so we'll do... We're actually killing it this turn. Smoke shows bones. Can I sacrifice that to get... If I get a squirrel on the smoke, will I be able to play the caged wolf? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, I can. All right. So I do this. I play the caged wolf. I can now play this. I have nothing in my hand if he kills everything because I kill this thing. 
I'm going to have nothing to play. Does that end the turn when I do that? Okay, it gives me cards at least. Okay, so that gave me a B. Um, what do I have? B, coyote, elk. Is that the guy that moves to the left or to the right? You move in the direction. Such a weird mechanic. Mantis, squirrel. I'm gonna have to s sacrifice things to play anyway. Okay, well, it didn't get turned into gold this time. I don't know why. Maybe I have to... Okay, maybe I have to get through his first life first. Hold cards for being turned to gold, yeah. I'm a little worried about my caged wolf just being turned to gold, and we won't get whatever happens when it dies. I don't know. Because Rand is just going to kill him. I guess we'll hold our hand here, maybe. Okay, it puts out one life. There's gold in them there cards. Oh, it gave me the card back. Uncaged the Menagerie. Oh, okay, I think I did it right. What was that? Okay. Struck gold, so I uncaged the wolf. Um, let's go ahead and draw here. I think I have plenty of resources here. Oh yeah, we're endless on this, that's right. Okay, so I can't play anything unless I sacrifice my wolf. I can only play a one cost thing with that. I think I need to wait for him to get the gold through here. Kill that. There we go. Thank you. And it gives me teeth for that, too. That's cool. So I can play my ants now, I guess. Okay. So, how do I do this? I play a bee and a squirrel and summon the ant queen. I can play another squirrel and play the ant, so we can try this ant's shenanigans. Let's try that. Squirrel. B. Ant queen. If I play another ant, this will be a two attack thing. Power numbers the ants creeps. That's a so ants are a swarm build, I guess. This worker ant. So I won't kill you. But you Will I kill you? I'm not sure. I'll kill that guy. I could sacrifice the wolf to get Rand in, but eh. We attacked first. This is an attack that? Okay. Alright. Okay. So the ant queen. God, when you only have four total slots, I'll say an ant swarming thing doesn't seem that good, but maybe there's way to ways to make that better, I guess. Let's just play Rand. Rand is my I am my best card. There. Look at my face. I am mad. I'm getting my revenge. Probably could have done more damage there, though. Could have sacked Wolf for Mantis. I don't know. Would that have let Ran attack face? I don't know. Let me relight your candles. All those teeth. Very well. You may choose a rare card. All right, what do we got? Long Elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. What is this? Undying? Touch of death. When a card bearing the single damage another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. So it moves to the right and has 
and it one shots everything. Okay. Strange larva. Level of brutish strength needs no explanation for cost there. Uh, I wonder if I get to choose if I sacrifice this thing, which power it gets. This guy potentially damages a creature and moves to avoid damage from the next one that comes in. Uh, maybe. I guess I'll try this. It's weird. It's Abomination. Let's play the Abomination. After the herring encounter with the Prospector, you gather yourself and continue onwards. All right, we go into the mist or the whatever it was again. Thick with moisture. Yeah, this is where we died last time, the wetlands. Imagine Urali with the Mantis attack. That'd be pretty crazy. All right, is there anything new I've unlocked yet here? Didn't I, like, get this wolf free? I don't know what this squirrel wolf thing is showing me. I opened this already. And I did all this. Oh! I uncaged the wolf. Is that that ring that I had right there? Didn't I have this ring? Why well, I uncaged the wolf. I got some teeth for it, apparently. Oh, what can I do with this? Aha! I can put it there. I have a dagger. Finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay, can I stab you with the dagger? Let me out, I stab you! Okay, I can't do that apparently. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the dagger. Stab you in the face. Okay. Oh, it's a tool now, it looks like. Hold on a second. You can't use that right now. <laughs> All right, so it's a new tool that I have. Okay. A flying Urali would be amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's three co it's four costs though? Inky black mouth of a cave. Strange beast lurked within. It spoke past one of my trials, and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. But first you will choose a trial. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined. Trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. So it's basically how well do you know your deck. Trial of power. Three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. Ah, uh, so it's random? I just randomly choose cards? I don't think I have high cost, especially since I have bone cards. Um... I do have a lot of sigils, and I do have a lot of power, so I feel like I'd win one of these two. But if this has to be all three have to have a sigil, though. Although some of mine have multiple sigils, right? Because I've infused them. I think power is the best. If I just draw Rand, I win. Trial of power begin. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, ant attacks don't count. So, uh, failure. Great. Wonderful. What a wonderful, amazing thing. Let's look at our deck, by the way, to see what we had to do to fail that. Basically draw only these two, and we fail it. We could have drawn three ones, I guess. Guess what? I have shitty RNG. What a big surprise. Okay. The ant should have been two. Yeah, they should have been. Since their attack would have been two on the game, but... What do you know? Game cheats and Fs me. So surprising. What happens if I do this one? I don't know if I get to choose that one or not. Um, that gives me the stink bug thing. 
This one gives a free death. Maybe I get the defense thing? I don't even know. Don't even know. Bullfrog, I guess. So this will give me defense against the air. I mean, sure. Whatever. Empower me! You have been empowered. Alright, what do we got here? We got... These are gonna move, okay? And they're also just gonna dive, so... This is the Kingfisher guy. Okay, so I can play literally nothing except my squirrel. Great. Cool. This bone thing. If only I kept bones from the last thing. Oh, it changed direction. Okay, uh, I can play the wolf if I get a squirrel. And that'll also let me play the stink bug because that'll give me two bones. So let's do that. There. There. Wolf, there, there. I guess I'll play that there. I don't feel like it really matters. And I got two things there. Let's do that. Will you protect against the uh, flying? Oh, you will, but it has no attack anyway. Interesting. I wonder if that combo is bad. Uh, I have... God, I have... Jeez. I have no resource, and I have nothing to play with resource, so I'd have to sacrifice something to play that. Skink is kind of worthless. Probably need to sacrifice that for something. Oh my god, we just killed you. Okay, get wrecked. Both will eventually lose attack because they move. Well, they don't. I don't think the attack goes away. It's only when it's in front of them, so it's not like they'll be permanently zero attack, I don't think. Ah, oh, man, I don't feel like I've got enough bones for that to be useful. Ugh. God, I have such a mix of crap. I have ants, bones, and other random stuff. I just keep hoping I draw. Um, hey, that, that's pretty nice. I could use that. That uh, ability. Just hoping I draw um, Rand basically every time. I'm full up on items, right? I think so. Okay, this gives me plus one attack. If I'm going to sacrifice you to give the multi-attack attack thing, I should give this to... Just give the plus attack to Rand? Just buff Rand, I guess. Yeah, we got Kazakh. Here's the fire... Warmed Rand with your Rand in tow. <laughs> A little awkward. A little awkward. Okay. What do we got here? A bunch of bees. Okay. Dink bug, squirrel. Uh, again, I can play nothing. God. Okay, uh, well I need a squirrel to be able to play anything, so I'll be able to play two things here, though. So, squirrel. Squirrel. Wolf. Uh, flying. Okay, yes. I can still attack that. Cool. And then a possum. What do we got here? A 1-1 one, one or a 1-2? Wow, you're crap. Uh, we'll just play the 1-2 there and kill that thing off. Okay. Why do you gotta show your creepy hands all the time? They're so creepy, though. So that thing's gonna come up forward and then attack two things. If I have something with one health, I won't be able to do anything, so... I mean, I just I can't play anything. Uh, so I draw this, see what I get. Rand, okay. Um, sacrifice stink bug to play that. Uh, 
honestly, we're taking a decent amount of damage. This is infinite, so even if I sacrifice you, it's fine. Do, do this. We'll just do frickin' eight damage to you. Okay, I didn't get any extra... I should have probably... I probably need to time this better to get more overkill because that gives me more stuff to spend, so... Um... I don't know what that X. If that X means remove a card, I kind of want to do that. What's this trap? Oh, it's the trapper. Okay. I have like no... Oh, I have a little bit, I think. Oh, okay. I have a lot more than I thought. Golden pelt. Golden pelt. Okay. Apparently I don't know how to count. Gold pelt. Yeah. Cool. You're back from messing around on Slave Spire? Well, welcome back. Explosive Ash. You come across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pre pleasant. Alright, let's get rid of this opossum. That seems pretty worthless. Sacrifice him! You callously slaughter the opossum! However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Ah! I think I still have things that use bones. Shook off the viscera of the poor opossum and carried onwards. So I wonder if, if I had slayed something that gives me blood, if I would start with one extra blood thing. Sacrifice, whatever. I wonder. Alright. Bone for the bone gobs! I can play the Slink, which is a 1-2 that moves when it's attacked. Okay. It's flying. So if I put this in front of this guy, I wonder if it'll give me... Hey, spider. I wonder if it'll give me a bone when its tail cuts off. Let's see how that works. Try this mechanic. Play it in front of that guy who's going to attack him. But I think it'll cut off his tail and he'll move to the right, I think. Okay. It's hard to call it cowardly. Alright, that did give me a bone. Okay, and that's cool. Alright, so I got three bones. If I sacrifice squirrel and skink, I get wolf, and I'll have four bones to play this guy. Okay, let's do that. Sorry, Skink. Kill that guy. And then a long elk. Murders whatever it attacks and then moves over in space. It's weird, but okay. Now I can see it. It was only a line before. It's weird. Long elk to the very left. That's what I did. Thanks for the back seating, but yes. <laughs> he moved over. Ouch. Okay. I'm gonna do four. He's doing, what, three to me? What's, what are these guys? I forget how much damage they do. So this guy undying, is that what this is? When a card, no, that's the touch of death. So he kills anything he touches, but he doesn't actually get to attack anything. Probably should have honestly put him in front of that. Unplayable, unless I sacrifice both of them, which would lower my damage. I think we're about even right now. Oh, I moved back over there. Four damage. Okay. A little bit of teaser for one of your ships. Okay, is that uh, some sort of crew? Nice. Um, okay. Wait, he took one damage? Okay, so that thing actually attacks him. Got a squirrel. And that's 
Get rid of the low health wolf. Put that one there so I can at least kill that guy. Oh, do I die though? One, two, three. Is that, am I dead? Oh, one off lethal. Okay. Calculated, I guess. Oh my god. How do I get freaking card draw in this game? There's a third target card around here somewhere. Personally, I hate the guy. Okay. Biggest killjoy ever, but he's the only one of us with a plan to get the things back to normal. All right. Um, I really need to draw a skull thing. I think I'm still alive because we do four and then he does four back to me, so. God, how do you get freaking card draw in this game? I could play the stoat if I get that. I could play, I have three bones, so I think there's... I think I have some things that can play with bones. See the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish the match the slow way. <laughs> okay. He doesn't like long games any more than I do, apparently. Um, do I do it the slow way? If I accept his concede, I don't get the extra teeth, I guess. Do I want to accept his concede? Uh, I actually think I'm losing. Yeah, I don't think I'm even winning here, with, especially with these draws. I better take his concede, I guess. Is it surrender when you're about to die in FTL? Yeah. All right, we'll go to this boss and then we'll take our first break here. I think it's just about even. Well, he has cards. I had no cards, so I, I don't know about it being even. The Nascent Fawn quickly grows into an elk. River Snapper. Okay, I think I like the defensive card here. Do I? I could put the poison on the defensive card. One thing I've been wanting to do. Six, six. I, I mean, the thing is, I don't have resources to play stuff. So, I mean, I guess I take that, but ugh, this deck feels terrible right now. He did four, we did four as well. He was about to kill my wolf, Vega. I don't know if you know, noticed that, but the otter was about to kill my wolf. Because he was underneath and did one damage, my wolf had one health, so I was about to lose, I'm pretty sure. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. What did I get? A pack rat. Okay. I guess I should be using my items, maybe. Not the rattler, I don't know. I feel like I don't have enough resources to play anything right now. Mud tucked hard to your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. Rank odor cut your stomach, turn your eyes to water. Rotting fish. Alright, so this guy, who I beat too fast last time. I have a rabbit pelt. The hell am I supposed to do with. What was the girl who I was supposed to buy stuff with my pelts? Oh, God. Uh. I should save the smoke so that he grabs the smoke, I think. I guess I can use a pelt to sacrifice to get a wolf up. Oh, that doesn't count as a sacrifice. What does this do? I have a debt. Did I just kill myself? The hell? I took my eye out and it did a crap load of damage to him. Oh. Okay. So I can play... Oh my god. I have no time. I think I would have actually just killed him and it wouldn't have been too fast to get. 
Yeah, this game's pretty stu pretty crazy. Sailfish, hard shoes. Pack rat. I guess I should have taken an actual rat. Do I have a rat over here? Oh, I just pulled my own tooth. Jesus Christ, this is such a ridiculous game. Okay, put the smoke there. Okay. Whatever, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing now. Okay. Guess I take this so I can actually play something. Let's play the pack rat. Um, do I even want to kill the smoke? If that's in the way, I think that's a good thing. What item did I get? I got a fan. Okay. I need one more thing to play that. This guy sounds like airborne stuff. Counters him as in he takes your cards with no damage to his side. You place airborne guys to keep him hitting over those used cards. He cannot take them. Okay. Um, I want him to take my rabbit pelt, I think. So I'm going to play nothing. What's up, Flurchin? Go fish. Okay. It seems like I want him to fill up his board with crap is the way you're supposed to play this, I think. Yeah, just give him a bunch of squirrels and pelts or something. I don't know. So I could play this long elk. I don't actually want to... Can I attack? Maybe I can not attack the smoke. Maybe that's unattackable. Oh, no, I did kill the smoke. Whoops. Okay. Is it not too soon this time? Go fish. Okay. What do you have? Bait bucket. And I can't see out of my right eye because apparently I used a freaking. Uh, this game is this game is insane. Let's see what we draw here. River snapper. I'd have to sacrifice two things. Not too soon this time. Yeah, no scripted thing. Oh, here comes a great white. Cool. He dodged. Am I dead? Wow. Okay. Surprise! Cool game mechanic, bro. Cool game mechanic. Uh, okay. Did I leave the building for food today, Rand? Everything's too icy for you in North Dallas. Leave the house? No, I did not. I've been eating just peanut butter sandwich. Um, I don't even know what to do. I hope I draw something that I can get with teeth. Nope. Something I, I, I have no playable cards. What a, what a fun deck building game, everybody. Look how extremely fun this is. Uh, I guess I'm just dead. I don't know. Go fish, you hook me. I don't know. As far as a deck building game goes, I'm, I'm not I'm not super sold on this game. There's some interesting mechanics, but the meta game of this seems to be getting in the way of the actual game mechanics to me. Salty? I don't know. If I'm salty. I'm just like, is there any strategy to this? It doesn't feel like there's any strategy. I'm not. I don't have that much control over the cards I can find. The the card types. Uh, I'm not dead yet. Yeah, we're gonna make another card. Make another, you're basically a serial killer. It's cool. I can take a picture of you. You really think I would leave film in there? You know what that camera's capable of? Give me that. Okay. We have a memento to create. All right. Death card. Cost. It's to go one cost. Gets better the more you play. It's basically just discovery for the first couple runs. Okay, I hope it gets better because so far it just doesn't feel like there's much mechanics to it. Just a bunch of random junk. 
Power and health. What if I do a rabbit pelt? Okay, this is gonna be a really terrible card that we're making here. Wish I had my rand. Sigils, huh? Let's go with that. What's my name? It's still Rand, still the same name. Alright, take my picture. Say cheese. F you, cheese. F you. Rand Salt should be the name of the car. There you go. I'm never going to get to GG Cookie time this game, apparently. Am I prepared? Not really. So, really, really quick, my friends, I'm going to take a break from this crazy game. Maybe I can not stab my eye out again. It's kind of insane. Uh, quick six seconds, set up a short break when I come back. We'll continue, and maybe I can actually make some cohesive deck. I'll be back in just a minute, my friends. Y'all rock. <laughs> 